Good day, brothers and sisters in Christ. My name is Jeff Joquin, husband to my beautiful wife, Sandy, of 24 years, father to Faith McKenzie, who's 20 years old, and to Jonathan Andrew, who would be 37. The purpose of this talk today is to give you a few reasons why you should invite me to speak at your next event. And I was lying on their den floor having a cocaine-induced heart attack. I was going to die that night. So I did the only thing that I could remember my good, faithful Catholic Christian parents telling me to do, and that's to pray to Jesus. I said, if this Jesus person is real, then I'm going to pray to him right now, and he's either going to come and save me, or I'm going to die. So ladies and gentlemen, I, I let go of the spiritual cactus at the age of 24. And all I can tell you is I had an experience that I haven't felt since. And that's no high that you can't get high like that with alcohol, you can't get high with drugs. It's a feeling of peace like you could never imagine. And I think the best way to explain the first pillar of mercy is to talk about the healing of the paralytic. See, because this paralytic, he came with a group of people, scripture says, a group of people. But it was a full house, it was a packed house. So what did they do? Did they give up? Did they turn away? Jesus said, your faith has saved you. Son, your sins are forgiven. First stage of healing for that man. His spiritual sins were forgiven. So that you know that the Son of Man has the power to forgive sins on earth. I say to you, paralytic, rise and pick up your mat and walk. I took a sip of that brandy, and young ladies and men, I knew at nine years old that I was an alcoholic. And my grandfather came in the room and he had a little glass of alcohol. I didn't know what it was. He said, Jeff, would you like a sip of this? When my grandfather left the room, I grabbed the bottle of brandy and I took a swig of it. But I really started drinking at the age of about 13. Every weekend, I had an older brother. My older brother would buy me alcohol, I'd drink. But my prodigal son journey doesn't stop there. So if your participants are interested in building eulogy virtues and not resume virtues, please consider reaching out to the Catholic Speakers Organization at catholicspeakers.com and inviting me to your event. God bless you and have a great day.